It's, uh, it's pretty thrilling. Um, I used to come here all the time to cover uh, um, movie premieres as a journalist. So to actually be part of a movie premiere is rather surreal, yeah. I think they're going to see a really exciting science fiction adventure about a, a really great heroine who goes on a, a, a cool journey of discovery to, um, to find this amazing land called Tomorrowland and apparently meet George Clooney along the way. So how cool can that be? Brad and Damon and all of Disney spent a lot of time trying to find the right uh, actress for Casey. And in Britt Robertson, we have a really great actress who can, she's really funny, she's really uh, emotional, um, she really kind of makes you believe in this dreamer character in a really contemporary way. She's a fantastic actress. I can't wait to see where she goes from here. She's, she's, she's great. Uh, George Clooney plays Frank Walker, who as a young man was a dreamer who, uh, who stumbles into Tomorrowland and finds this amazing place and is captured by its wonder. But as we kind of find George many years later, as we, when we find Frank many years later, he's, uh, he's kind of a fallen dreamer. He feels that Tomorrowland has kind of betrayed him. And he goes on an adventure with Casey to figure out what happened to Tomorrowland and maybe he can get some of that old idealism back. Well, I love how we use special effects in this movie because we've used special effects in a really innovative, dynamic way to bring a city of the future to life in a really deep way, not just a sort of like skyline kind of way. We bring you deep into this city of the future. But we also use special effects in a really kind of like fun, action-driven ways. You get to see a rocket ship. You get to see a bathtub turned into a rocket ship. Um, you get to meet some really cool-looking robots. So um, the, the, the visual look of, of Tomorrowland is just is, is pretty stunning. I think it asks the audience what kind of perspective do you have? Is it optimistic, pessimistic? I think there's actually reasons to believe in both, um, but I think this movie asks the question if we used to have an optimistic orientation toward the future, is there something still relevant about that that we can bring today when things seem so doom and gloom? And, uh, and so it asks the question, is, is an optimistic orientation to the future relevant?